Hello my friends, how's it going? Kim here, welcome back to my channel. I have a really fun kettlebell workout for you today. What we're gonna be doing is a hundred kettlebell swings, not back to back, don't worry, um, but that's really gonna give us some fat burning, calorie burning, and strength building in one quick workout. I'll be using a 20 pound kettlebell, but just grab what you have. If you're not using a kettlebell, grab the heaviest dumbbell you have, unless of course you have something like 100, don't grab that, um, but anywhere from 15 to 20 will do. So go ahead, grab what you need, and let's get started. For our warm-up, I'm gonna start with my kettlebell in front of me. I'd say probably a couple feet in front of me. Good, we're just gonna bend our knees, come on down and touch that kettlebell in front of us. Really drive your butt back and reach your arm forward. So we're coming into a nice low squat, just as we warm up. Good, let's go four more. Three. And one. From here, reach your arms all the way up towards the ceiling. Exhale them down, bend those knees, walk your feet out, come up into a plank. Then walk your hands towards your toes and lift it up. Exhale down, we're inchworming here. Activating that core as we warm up. Then touch, touch, walk it back. Reach the arms overhead. Come on down, bend those knees. Get nice and strong through that core. Reach it up. Touch, touch. Come on up. From here, we're gonna keep our hands beside us and let's lunge it forward. Forward lunge. Dropping that back knee, keeping that front knee right over top of our ankle. On this one, we're gonna add a little twist. Good, twisting through the spine. And you can slow this down. It is just the warm up. So work at your own pace. Two more. Last one, good. Walk it up towards your kettlebell. Bend your knees, hinge at your hips. Grab that kettlebell and bring it up to center. We're gonna hold on to that kettlebell and go into some halos. So tuck your elbows in beside you. Take a nice deep breath in, belly button in. We're gonna bring that kettlebell around our head, come to center, then reverse directions. Good. Elbows up and back to center. Keep it up. We got four more. Four, three, one more. Good, bring that kettlebell down so that it's right in front of you. And then we're gonna bring our feet together just so we have a nice solid base for this. Okay, bend your knees slightly, pull that belly button in. We're gonna go around the body. So I'm gonna start with a kettlebell in my right hand and then I'm gonna go around, grab on with my left, behind the body, grab on with the right. So you wanna grab on to the corner of that bell, of that handle, so that when it comes around, you're not hitting your other hand if you're holding it in the center. Let's pull the core in nice and strong. Get four, three, you've got it, two, and one, bring it to center. Now we're gonna go the other direction. So we're gonna go behind the body this time. So same move. Good. And you can do this with your, your dumbbell. Just make sure you're grabbing on. And you might have to go a little slower. We're almost there, four and three. Two, last one, and great. All right, let's bend our knees, drop that kettlebell in front of us. We're just gonna stretch out those inner thighs, so take your feet out nice and wide. Come right on down, elbows to the inside of those thighs, and just give it a little rock side to side. Nice and easy here. Good, hands to one side. Straighten out that opposite leg, lift the toe, then we're gonna walk it over and alternate side to side. Really driving that hip back. 
four, three, two, and one. From here, hold it with a straight back, nice deep breath in, exhale, lift it up, arms beside you. All right, we're warmed up. We're gonna start with 20 kettlebell swings. So feet wider than hip width, we hinge. So take your hands and really kind of karate chop yourself at the hips, that's gonna drive that hip back. My knees are slightly bent, that's just to protect my spine. I'm gonna come on down, grab that kettlebell, roll it towards me, and then I'm gonna swing from here. Your kettlebell doesn't wanna go any higher than shoulder height, and as you can see, I'm still doing that hinge. All right, are you guys ready? So we're starting this workout, here we go. You know the swing, let's do it, come on down, and here we go for 20. That's 10, you're halfway, we got 10 more. Last one, good. Before we come on down, hinge at your hips, bend the knees, lower that kettlebell. We're gonna go into some clean and press. So with a dumbbell, you can't quite do the same thing. So you're just gonna bicep shoulder and press up. All right, bicep shoulder and press. With the kettlebell, if you don't know how to do a clean or if you're new to it, let's start you out with two hands. So you're gonna come on down, straight back, grab onto that kettlebell. From here, I'm going to swing around. So as you can see, I'm coming around the body and then you can release. So the kettlebell is in the crook of your arm, your elbows underneath your wrist. From here, I press up, okay? If you're doing single, same thing. You want it to go on a diagonal in your hand. So from the crook of your hand to the corner, around and Press. We're doing 10. Here we go. One, two, really slow it down at the top of that swing. Make sure it's going around the wrist, not over top of the fingers. Doing great. We got five more. Four more. Last one. Nice work. Drop it down. Rest. We gotta do the other side. Then we got some deadlifts. That'll be the first circuit done. Okay, let's get ready. So either two handed into that clean position or one, bend the knees, come on down, grab that kettlebell, give it a swing into your clean and press. Good job. Two. You're halfway. Two left, come on, let's go. Two. And one. Great job. Let's bring that kettlebell down in front of us. All right, we're going into a deadlift. So get that kettlebell between the feet, hip hinge. So driving the hips back, bend those knees keeping them nice straight back, pull your arms in, elbows beside you. And we're going to lift up with a straight back, driving through the hips and the glutes. Good. So this is not through our legs, but it's through our hamstrings and our glutes. And we come up through a straight back. Four.
Release. Good, set one done. We're moving on. Second one, we're gonna go back into those swings. So you know what to do. Get that kettlebell in front of you. You're ready to work in three, two, hip hinge, grab that kettlebell, swing it towards you, and here we go for 20. Two. And one, make sure you drop it down with that hip hinge. Take a rest, we're gonna goblet squat. So in your goblet squat, that kettlebell's in front of you. Our feet are wider than hip width. Toes can be slightly pointed out on this, but not huge turnout, okay? Just a slight turn, because we're gonna be bringing our elbows in between our knees. So for the goblet squat, we're going to actually be doing a squat now, so we're driving through our knees, or the bend is through our knees. We're still pushing our butt back, but it's more of a thought through those knees. Grab onto that kettlebell on either side of the horn, and then bring it back up. Okay, we're gonna do 10 here. So it's all the way down, pushing up through the heels of your feet. Inhale, exhale. Last two. Good, bring it down. Release that kettlebell, stand it up. We're gonna do a curtsy lunge and we're just gonna be touching that kettlebell down. Catch your breath. As we curtsy, one leg comes behind and we're just dropping down. Okay, and all you're gonna do is try to touch that kettlebell to the ground. So go ahead, grab onto that kettlebell, lifting up. We're gonna go back with our right leg to start for 10, then we'll do the other side. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, here we go. 10, step. You've got it, five more, five. One more. You did it, all right. Place that kettlebell down. You gotta do the other side. Catch your breath. Pick up that kettlebell. Ready to go back with the left in three, two. Strong core, hips forward, here we go. One. work. Lower the kettlebell. Set three, we're getting there. So back to those swings. Then we're going to go into some rows, so we're going to be doing some pull movements. All right, set yourself up for those swings. Get those feet wider than hip width, toes pointing forward, hip hinge, roll that kettlebell. Here we go. One, Last one, good, hip hinge, drop the kettlebell. We're gonna step our left leg back, right leg forward, so we're in a split stance. We're gonna have that kettlebell right beside that right foot. All right, hinging at the hips, core is strong, grab onto the bar, 
You can place the other hand on your hips, low back, but make sure you're strong through that core. We're gonna lift, and now we're gonna bring that elbow up. Four, 15. Last one, drop it down, stand it up. We gotta do the other side. So get yourself set up. Left leg forward, right leg back up on the toe, bend that front knee, hinging forward, grab onto that kettlebell, lift. Here we go, one. one good job lower the kettlebell from here you can come on down to the floor we're gonna lay that kettlebell down we're gonna go staggered push-ups if you have a dumbbell you can try this but if you find it hurts um, to do it on the dumbbell just do a regular push-up so what I'm doing with the kettlebell is I'm gonna be switching actually just place it center one hand is gonna be on the bell the other is gonna be on the floor I'm gonna go into a full push-up, but you can do this on your knees. So if you're on your knees, you've got your belly button pulled in. You're gonna drop your chest to the floor and then come over to the other side and drop, okay? We're just doing 10. So set yourself up, belly in, drop, walk it over, and two. Good, to your knees, ready for those swings. We got two more sets. All right, kettlebell swing. Whew. Get yourself set up. If you need longer rest, just pause the video, grab your water. I'm going through this rapidly because we're going for a fat burn today. All right, hip hinge, grab that kettlebell, roll it back and swing. Nice work. Bend the knees, drop it down. We're going to a lateral lunge. So that just looks like without the kettlebell, a step out, one leg straight, the other knee's gonna bend, push your butt back. We're gonna tap that kettlebell, come back to center. 10 on each side. Get yourself set up, holding on to the center of that kettlebell. Here we go, 10. Last one, come back to center, switch hands. We gotta go to the other side in three, two, right here. 
down and touch. Push your butt back. Three more. Two. Last one. Good job, bring it up. All right, let's come on down to the ground. Bend those knees straight back. We're gonna do some glute bridges with a press. So on our back, bring that kettlebell with you, holding onto the horns or just either side of your dumbbell. Feet are on the floor. We're gonna be driving our hips up into that glute bridge. At the same time, I'm gonna be pressing up. So we press and release. All right, you ready? We're going 20 on this one. Here we go. Press. You're halfway. 10 more. 10. Last one, all the way up, hold, squeeze, bring it down, roll that kettlebell to the side, and come on up to a stand. Last set. So this next set of 20 swings is gonna get you to that 100. Super high calorie burn, fat burner today. Bring your kettlebell in front of you. Are you ready to work? This is it. So give it your all for this last set. Get yourself in position, hip hinge. Roll the kettlebell. Here we go for one. That's it, you did it. 100 kettlebell swings today. Hip hinge, drop that kettlebell. We're going to the floor, we're gonna do some abs, and we're gonna work our triceps. So all the way down, again, grab onto that kettlebell by the horns. Come on down. Let's get our feet up towards the ceiling. Good, pushing that low back into the floor, engaging that pelvic floor. You want the back of your rib cage, or the lower part, and your pelvis bones right where the dimples are, pushing down into the floor. So we're activating that transverse abdominal. All right, and then we're just gonna try to touch our toe with our kettlebell side to side. So it's one, two, three. Ten more. Ten. Five. Four. And last one. Good. Drop those feet. Drop the kettlebell for just a second. We're going to do a skull crusher. So basically, we're going to be holding on to the kettlebell bending our elbows and bringing it behind our head. And I like to hold on to the horns for this one. If you prefer to hold on to the bell, that's your choice. Let's tuck those elbows in and slightly behind. Push your back into the floor. Here we go, we drop for one. Keep working, give me five more, five, 
four, two, you've got it, last one. Pull the bell in towards you, drop it to the side, grab on behind one knee, roll yourself up. Last exercise. We're gonna go side to side, okay? So we're gonna be doing a Russian twist with our kettlebell. I keep my feet on the floor for this one because I've got weight. I don't like to do the seated V. Um, it just puts a little too much strain on the back. So let's have those heels in the floor, kettlebell or dumbbell on one side of you. We lean back about 45 degrees, really engaging that lower abdominal. Pull that belly button right in towards your spine. We're gonna come over to one side and we're just gonna tap that kettlebell on the floor beside us. If that's too much of a range of motion, you can stay here. You don't have to come all the way down. Okay, you ready? Here we go. One. Five, four, really bring it out. Three, two, working those obliques. And one, lower the kettlebell. Let's just bring our feet in towards us, wrap our hands around our knees. I'm not doing a stretch for today, but I put a link in the description below to a 20 minute full body stretch. So if you got the time, head on down, make sure you stretch out those muscles. Whew. That was a tough one. If you are using a kettlebell, you'll really feel that. With the dumbbell, you're still getting a really great workout. You just might not notice as much of a cardio workout. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for joining me on today's workout. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. I'll make sure to comment back when I have a moment. If you're new to my channel and enjoyed this workout, think about subscribing. I do new workouts three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thanks so much again for joining me. I'll see you on the next one.